In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create 360 degree photo album slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works when I click. You can see here, I've given a 360 degree uh, tutorial here. I've added photos, uh, different photos, different backgrounds and if you want, you can add some text to it. And I've added a few uh, zoom in animation effect to it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides and go to insert shapes. I'm going to insert the oval shape, go to the basic shapes and select the oval shape. Just click it here and you can change the height and width to 2.2 and align center, align middle. Then I'm going to insert three circle hollows for that go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to choose the circle hollow. Just click it here and maybe I can give this size and width as 5.3 and 5.3 align center align middle. All right. This much size again if you want to reduce the width you can reduce the width with the help of this small orange point and I'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and give some different color again make sure to align center align middle and i'm going to increase the size by holding the ctrl shift key together you can see here i can increase the like this and then i can reduce the width but i need the width to be more let me just increase the size further and then i can just increase the width okay again if you want just zoom out and you can just increase a little bit and you can increase the width of this and i'm going to add one more uh, circle hollow for that press ctrl d again to duplicate and give some different color again align center align middle and increase the size by again holding the ctrl shift key together and it doesn't matter if it is goes outside this area also okay and let me just reduce the width and i can increase the size a little bit all right so i got this particular design shape press ctrl a to select all the shapes go to the shape format shape outline make it no outline okay so this is how it looks like if i do a slideshow okay now i'm going to duplicate this slide by uh, right mouse click and click on the duplicate why i'm doing that one if something goes wrong then i have this copy ready with me all right so let me just go to this one now i'm going to select this shape and i would like to cut this into four parts for that what i'm going to do is go to insert shapes from the rectangles choose the rectangle draw or rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color all right let me just reduce it the and then what I'm going to do is again align center, align middle and then hold the alt and the right arrow key and two or three times you need to press it. Okay. And press control D to duplicate align center, align middle and then alt one, two, three, four actually again one, two, three, four times. So I end up uh, the share the the this particular rectangles are crossed like this okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape and hold the shift key select these two rectangles remember you have to select only the this blue circle hollow and these two rectangles all right and once that is done go to the shape format merge shape i can just say fragment okay just click on the fragment and i'm going to delete all the unwanted which i don't need you can see here i don't need all those things i'm just deleting one by one so you can see here i have got now four different shapes all right the same thing which I'm going to do now for the second one. Again for that go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw a rectangle, shape fill you can give any color. Alright and then again align center, align middle. Now I'm going to do this one from starting from here. Press ctrl D to duplicate, 
align center align middle and then one two three four i can make it press ctrl d it's already duplicated one two three four so you can see here now this one i'm going to cut this into the three parts so again again make sure that this should be the size should be greater than this one okay so now i'm going to select this shape hold hold the shift key select this this and this then go to the shape format more shape i'm going to fragment again so now let me just delete i don't want this much it's some time consuming job but once it's done it looks very good so let me just delete this i don't want this one you can see here all right the this one we can delete it later on also i can just remove this one and i can just select this and sorry and i can just delete like this and again make sure to align center and align middle anyway that will do it later because i need to cut this also now this particular shape now how many you want again it depends on your requirement again if you want you can add it uh three cuts or four cuts so let me just zoom zoom out all right again go to insert shapes select the rectangle again make sure that the rectangle should be bigger than the shape itself so shape outline no outline shape fill again align center align middle maybe this time i'm going to cut it from here like that alt and two times press ctrl d to duplicate align center align middle now one two three four here control d again one two three four like this okay so again i'm going to select the only the outer circle hollow hold the shift key select these rectangles and merge and fragment again delete the unwanted i don't need this one we can see here can just simply delete all the unwanted i think it's all deleted let me just remove the circle from this here and now again go to the shape format align center align middle so you can see here we end up a shape which looks something like this all right so our design is ready now it's time to add the images so now let me just click on this one that fit to slide okay and now i'm going to select this one right mouse click go to the format shape under fill go to the picture or texture fill because i have used this image there's the reason now i'm going to click on insert i can click on the online pictures again you need to have an active internet connection for this one and i can just say that business for example people all right so you can see here i've got a different different images so whichever image which you feel better you can just choose that image for example let me just see which image is better okay maybe this one click insert and this got inserted here the image uh, untick this one rotate with shape and then you need to adjust this one okay height and width you can see here you need to adjust maybe the width also sorry the offset right offset right left and then make sure that this should look more close up okay i think this is better now here i would like to use some gradient fill for that go to picture or texture fill the same picture will be added so i'm going to click on again insert online pictures and here i'm going to choose for example uh, gradient all right so maybe i can just choose this gradient click on insert and remove this one again if you want you can make it zero and then like, according to the requirement you can adjust that one okay so again here let me just select the picture again click on insert and i can just tell that one okay business woman i'm just giving some examples here so just choose some nice images with some good background okay and then choose that one maybe i can just click on this one click insert 
and again increase this one so that the photo should look more close up all right so like this you can just play with this so again if you want you can just give same color or different pictures or whatever again i'm going to choose a different picture of a boy for example and i'm going to choose this image or maybe this click insert and then again make sure that this is zero 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 and zero and then again you can just align this one with the help of this you can see here now i'm going to choose this one picture or texture fill click insert online and then again i'm going to type boy and let me just choose this image now click insert and you can see here again you can just adjust it depending on the requirement so here i'm going to use a kind of a, a blur effect okay i can just say blur and you can just choose any blur effect maybe click on insert this one can you see here so likewise you need to start inserting the image if you have the image which is available from your local pc you can just use it or you can just choose some nice images for example i'm going to say landscape and i'm going to choose maybe uh, this image click insert you can see here the landscape and again as i said you need to adjust this offset properties so likewise you can insert all the images and once you have done it the, it will look something like this you can see here i have inserted all different different images all right you can see here the same images whatever some background some gradient fill all those images i have used so the same thing you need to just select that one go to the picture and then click on insert and again online pictures i can just give a kind of a sunset example okay you can see here maybe this looks uh, better click insert and this got inserted likewise you have to just do the same thing uh, for this one or you can just select this one also and you can insert one also so i'm going to select this one press ctrl g to group it you can see here it has become one group and i can just simply insert one picture like this also you can just go to insert you can go to online pictures and you can just give for example bouquet effect uh, let me just put you can see here i've got some nice uh, all right like that also you can do it so here also i'm going to just choose this one and i can just press ctrl g to group it now again select this one by holding the shift key press ctrl g to group it and again if you don't want this one example you can simply delete also and you can add some text over here so depending on the requirement so let me just give some different color here all right you can see here and i can just give uh, another picture here of a girl baby girl or whatever so you can see here some nice images click insert so this images has been inserted here again make sure that it is all zero percent and then you need to update it accordingly okay you can see here i can just do like this all right so with this we have completed this particular uh, design and this one you can just give any light color i don't want dark color there and you can add some text here go to insert text box and i can just say 360 all right center align i can use open sans and increase the size make sure that it is align center align middle and select both this one and control g to group it and now you can just increase the size also okay you can make it bold and put it here all right 
and you can add if you want you can add some text to it so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to give some a little bit animation effect to it so let me just close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane so i'm going to select the second one the third one and the fourth one add animation and i can just go and make it maybe basic zoom i can just choose a basic zoom here click ok so if i play it comes like this but this should happen maybe a little bit delay okay and here it should be more little bit delay now if i play it comes like this you can see here all right again if you want you can just do the animation for uh, this as well